Hey, what's good gamers, I on here, and of course, welcome back to each and every one of you. I want to talk about something that I think is a little bit more important, and I think is, is a, you know, it, it's, it was big news last week. I had so many internet problems and just, you know, I decided to take a break. I was saying, okay, never mind. I'll wait for the internet to come back. I'm going to take a well-deserved break. I don't know how well-deserved it was, but I still decided to take a break, so sue me. Um, so anyways, I'm back now, and I do want to talk about Christy Golden and her leaving Blizzard Entertainment. Now, I get it. I get it. A lot of people were very angry. A lot of people were very upset about Christy leaving because for a lot of people, Christy was a good writer. I have a ton of her books. I love her writing stories. I don't like her style. I've said that before to you guys. I like her stories. I love reading her books because the story is really good. I get really frustrated reading the actual book, though, because to me, at least, and again, authors are incredibly subjective. It's not actually an indictment of an author, but for me personally, uh, she just over explains things way too much, and I want to get into the action. But that's just me being an impatient little prick. So it doesn't actually, you know, as I said, it doesn't reflect badly on her. But she's been let go by Blizzard, and we also found out that Blizzard have actually been reorganizing and restructuring their entire narrative department. Now, this is a project that actually started a while back already. So last year, Blizzard announced that World of Warcraft is getting its own dedicated narrative department. So before this, uh, World of Warcraft did have its own dedicated writing team, but the narrative team, in other words, the short stories, the books, the cinematics, all of that, that was sort of more company-wide, and that team would make short stories and narratives and all the rest of it and cinematics for every single one of the games in the micro or in the Blizzard ecosystem. Blizzard moved, uh, made their own department within World of Warcraft alone, and I do think that at the time I also said this, uh, Blizzard is clearly trying to create a more enclosed ecosystem amongst all of their games so rather than having one department serve everything have every game have its own little department the biggest problem though is that outside of world of warcraft games at blizzard isn't doing all that well diablo 4 keeps failing it is just not seemingly clawing its way back into the hearts of players and now with path of exile coming up uh, path of exile 2 actually i kind of think that that will be the final nail in the coffin of whatever Diablo 4 was, I can see Blizzard was desperately trying to get their game into a playable position before Path of Exile 2 launched, because Path of Exile 1 kind of killed Diablo 3. Clearly, they're out of time now. Path of Exile is pretty close to launching. I don't exactly know when the date is. I'm not going to Google it now, but you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, so things have been pretty nightmarish at, at Blizzard. Um, in terms of the writing styles and in terms of just the overall balance and, and the way things operate, it clearly seems like a lot of games are struggling. World of Warcraft excluded from that because World of Warcraft is the one game that seems to have gotten its shit together. Right? Uh, the developers are so cool. They're talking to us so often. Everything they're doing just looks really awesome. But all right, let's talk about the narrative. Let's talk about Christy Golden and uh, let's discuss if... Uh, if this is actually as bad as people make it out to be. So firstly, let's just quickly get one thing straight here. There's been a lot of people online that sort of celebrated that Chrissy has finally gone. Uh, to that, I would say, I'm not sure what you're celebrating. I, for one, have not been a massive fan of the peace, love, and, you know, brotherhood of World of Warcraft, but that's not Chrissy's department. She She was never and has never been the narrative lead for World of Warcraft. Christy gets given a, a story and a topic, and then they ask her to write a short story, or they ask her to write a cinematic, or they ask her to write a, a, a quest line for that story. But the story comes from the narrative lead. So if the narrative lead wants it to end in peace, love, and, and brotherhood, there's nothing Christy... Like, she can't go up to the narrative lead and be like, no... Screw you, I'll do what I want because I am Chrissy Golden. That's not how it works, right? So celebrating her leaving, like, why? She She's proven herself to be a good author. She's proven that she can write very good stories. So I don't know what that celebration is. 
It just appears to be a celebration that is maybe a little bit more politically motivated. And while in many ways I share the politics, probably to some extent, I don't share the stupidly celebrating things that matter not in this regard. Uh, she has always been a lovely human being. I've seen her tweet and she, she never really attacks anyone. She doesn't really ever go after the player base. She seems like a sweet person. So I don't know why we're attacking her for that. I think her leaving is far more indicative of a problem that Metzen may have identified within World of Warcraft, and that is that there is just too many cooks in the kitchen. There's just too many people basically trying to make art. And one of the key things that we know, thanks to trial and error, is that one cannot make art by committee. It doesn't work when you have 20 writers, and each of the 20 writers are... are basically giving input and trying to steer the story because it ends up feeling a little disjointed. That's really the best word for it because you have all of these people each wanting their own storylines in the, in the game and it just ends up feeling broken. It doesn't make sense. Usually, if you go to games that really celebrate story and, and Final Fantasy is probably one of the MMOs that, that comes to mind here, uh, they tend to have one lead writer per expansion. And that one lead writer will have their vision realized for that expansion. And I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Metzen might be moving Blizzard in that direction. Having one writer write the story for an expansion, making sure that there is an actual through line and that the vision of this writer is realized as they move into the expansion. Now, that's generally not Chris Metzen. He's not really the individual sort of lore writer he tends to, or he's more of a lore writer. He's not so much a narrative writer. So he's probably going to have narrative writers that's going to do that. But it does seem like Blizzard is sort of hell-bent on cutting down and streamlining the entire process when it, when it comes to uh, you know writing specifically in World of Warcraft. And I, for one, think that is a good thing. If you look at World of Warcraft, if you look at my criticisms of World of Warcraft's story, basically since Shadowlands, but sort of BFA had elements of this as well, very often the story just felt not connected. It didn't feel like the story connected to anything else. Dragonflight was probably the best example of this. You had the side quests of Dragonflight, that was um, side stories of Dragonflight that was phenomenally well done. And then you had the main storyline for Dragonflight that felt rushed almost. It, it felt like they were just trying to get too many things to be done at the same time. And it all just ended up feeling a little disjointed. When in reality, you could have made side storylines that tied into the main storyline and explained a lot more of the main storyline. Uh, you know, so for example, Viranoth and uh, Viranoth's mindset around finally coming over to the side of the aspects that could have been a, a, a really cool side story to to sort of explore but it, it, it genuinely when you look at the story of dragonflight it really did feel like there were just too many people writing too many things and almost entirely disconnected from each other it fit that's not the problem all of the stories fit. I mean, it wasn't like someone came up with a robot story in the middle of a dragon expansion. So it wasn't that. The problem was more that more could have been done to help feed into the main storyline. But this is generally what you would expect to see when it when stuff is written by committee. But anyways, that's it for me. I wanted to make this video last week. Like I said, a lot of internet problems ended up just taking the time off. But I still wanted to get this message out to you guys. I still wanted to talk about this because I do think it's an important topic to discuss. And, you know, I, I, I'm assuming some of you actually care about my opinion on these things. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It has been my pleasure to entertain you. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike, a dislike. And then for $1 a month over on Patreon, you too can help keep this channel free from sponsorships that want to sell you stuff that you do not need. Right now, I have a Q&A video over on the Patreon for those of you that want to watch it. Anyways, peace.